Phyllis says, I would like a suggestion on the best way to keep track of people that I meet in all these different networking groups. I'm struggling with a system for having my VA follow up with them and helping me stay on top of everybody. Thanks. Uh, and then I like, I'm using a platform like Go High Level. Okay. I don't know about Go High Level. We're just going to go Trello um, for now. Okay. So you're at your meeting and you're hanging out with all these people and you screenshot a business card okay which is really a not screenshot you take a picture of a business card which hopefully you're all doing that anyway because we all lose those business cards right so i always try to get in the habit if i get a business card i take a picture of the business card and i did that this morning so let me just find it okay so um I mean, this is like super duper simple, but under leads, because I know that you're not going to, you know, you might collect on a really busy convention, 50 business cards, right? Like that, you're not going to uh -huh. have a thousand business cards. So taking pictures of the business card while you're at the event, you don't wait till so you're I don't hear you. You can't hear me. Can you hear me now? Can everybody else hear me? Okay. I'm just going to keep talking, Phyllis. You'll figure it out. So um, you want to make sure that your hands, like all you want to do is just pass the lead off to your VA. So just like before, um, we're going to send an email, but we're going to go to this leads card. We're going to click share. We're going to copy the email. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the picture of the business card. And I am going to email that. I, cr I created a contact. I think I did. Um, we're going to go to Gmail. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to go to contacts. And we're going to create a contact. And we're going to call this one CRM. I'm going to call it CRM too, because I swear I think I did that before. And then we're going to put the email. And we're going to click save. Okay. So now I'm going to my phone. I'm taking that business card that I just scanned and I'm going to click send. Okay. Let's open up the Trello board. It should be there any second. There's the business card. Okay. So what you can do is you can add an automation um, so that every time one of these gets added to the board, your VA gets a notification. Okay. Step two, I would also create a template right here, a template for, we'll say processing, okay? And we're going to click in there, and then we're going to create a checklist, because remember, a system is just a checklist, okay? And on that checklist, um, we're going to actually rename this, and what is your VA's name, Phyllis? Unmute. unmute. Shane, S-H-A-Y-E-N. No, A-Y-N-E, sorry. Okay, so these are things that Shane has to do. Um, mm -hmm. Email number one. Um, um, I don't know, what other information are you, what, so they're gonna need to send an email and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a systemized way. But then what, what else would they need? What, what else would happen ideally as soon as they get the business card? I don't I know. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Okay. They're going to add contact spreadsheet. Okay. Just a simple spreadsheet. All right. And then I would go ahead and for email number one, I would draft the template right here. So dear blank, it was great meeting you today. Um Here's the ebook I was telling you about. I do think a blank franchise would be perfect for you. Call me anytime if you have. Oh, you have that mini course now. So that's what I would do. Call me anytime if you have any questions. Phyllis, whatever. Okay. So 
that would also, I would turn that into a template in your Gmail templates. You know how to do that, right? So you have that templated in Gmail templates. Now, it might be that you will, so, so you'll be in the habit of when you send over the business card, you'll need to get in the habit of adding a particular sentence. Like for example, maybe your template has a PS on it, okay? And maybe the first part of this is super generic. Dear Blank, it was great meeting you today. Here's the, um, the free mini course I was telling you about, and then delete this. Call me anytime if you have any questions. P.S. Your P.S. will be the only thing that's really customized for that person. And every time you send over the business card, you will put along with it um, P.S., whatever it is you need to say special to that person. So when your VA gets the business card, um, gets the notification that you've added a business card, then they know to they're going to add that spe special sentence. And then you're also going to get them to add whatever info is on the card, the name, email, uh, where where you met, whatever else you want on the, on the contact sheet. And they're going to check it off like this. Okay. After that initial email is sent, it needs to get moved over. Your VA will move it over here. Initial contact was made. And then when is follow-up going to happen? Like, well, shouldn't I add them to my mailing list? Well, you you can add their you can add their email to your um so I can send them a newsletter so they don't forget me. Well, you have to ask them permission to be on your mailing list. Okay. So that's something you could if, if they say yes, like you're verbally meeting them and they say yes, they want to be on your email list, then yeah, the next thing you can add that to your to your template, add to email list. Okay. But here's the other thing. Since you're gonna be sending them that first email, it's gonna be coming from Gmail, not from your constant contact or. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so you're gonna have their email automatically in your Gmail so that you could you can um, connect with them and you could even ask them in the first email, would you like to receive my newsletter? And then they say, yes, then get, then they get added to your convert kit or whatever you use. But the thing is, what's beautiful is this is all systemized. So all I want you to do is take your screenshot of the business card and then it's out of your hands. You have to, you know, you're going to, figure out what you want on that checklist of all the things that happen. Like you just said, you know, ask them if they want to be subscribed to newsletter. If mm -hmm. yes, add them to newsletter mailing list. So Jen, that works great. If I'm at a local event or I'm at a conference and I get a card, but what about all these online events like JVology, all these different things that I go to and I meet these new people. Um, and so they wanted to connect with me on LinkedIn, but I've realized that they may connect with me on LinkedIn, but then they go into the pool of the you know 6,000 people I have on LinkedIn and, and I don't do a very good job following up other than my postings that they see. If they see them. Same thing. I love the idea. We have started doing this. It seems cumbersome. It seems cumbersome, but we have, um, we have a Trello card for all y'all. <laughs> we yeah. sure do. Uh, we got a dossier on you. And so, <laughs> um, not really, but we but we do have a Trello card on everybody, right? Like all the people in, in VIP, all the people in Front Row CEO. Now, no, not, e not everybody on my email list, but but you on, on LinkedIn, you don't, you know, those people that really jump out at you, um, that, that, you know, that because 6,000 people, maybe not so much, but the people who you're starting to have, um, who are either like you just recognize they are perfect or number two, you've had engagement with them. Mm -hmm. You can do the same thing because there's a lot of information over on LinkedIn. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm just trying to think the simplest process there um, could be a screenshot as well. It could be a screenshot of the pertinent information on their profile. Um, oh, could, that's what I could do. 
Yeah, so because here's here's typically what happens is I'll be in a networking event and somebody will send me a, a private DM and say, I'd love to connect with you. Okay, great. And then I'll go, I either give them my calendar link or I'll go over and I'll find them on Facebook and I'll send a message to connect with them. But maybe what I'll do to increase that is I'll do a screenshot of the person. So, and here's the, here's the thing that I'm trying to get to. And I think that helps me is then I can screenshot that, put it on a Trello card, and then I can have Shane make sure that I stay on top of that person, that I reach out to them, that I, I don't know, do something. Yeah, whatever that, whatever that process is, it'll be here. And then you could also make it so you can really visuals, visually see here, like where you are in the process, mm -hmm. moving that content, that contact through. Like, so if they said they want to contact, so on LinkedIn, they say they want to connect. You've sent the cal Calendly link. So, so maybe we create another template for LinkedIn, okay? Mm -hmm. This template is for biz cards. <clears throat> but you can keep them on the same board. For LinkedIn though, on their checklist, the number one thing that needs to get done is uh, calendar invite if it's re if 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 it's if that's relevant okay mm -hmm. calendar invite email number one so you have a different email for your LinkedIn people um, and add to spreadsheet ask yeah ask my, for uh, a newsletter add to because yeah, Shane and I met yesterday afternoon and her idea and it looks like this is where you're going with it was to do a Google spreadsheet so that anytime I can always go in and look at this Google spreadsheet and kind of see if there's action to do or whatever. Is that kind of what you're thinking? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, so this Jen, all started can you with you. Suggestion? Yeah. Um, so what I have started, uh oh, did I lose you guys? Uh -oh. We're here. Okay. Um, so what I've started doing, especially for events, um, um, and I don't have my VA yet, but I have, um, I notice in Trello, there's labels. Um, I use Asana, but I also use um, a CRM for follow-up. But if you could label everyone that you met at a particular event, mm -hmm. that would be helpful as well. And then you could follow them or make notes on who you're really interested in talk following up with or who was really interested in following up with you but if you create that label to um and name the label the name of the event yeah and maybe year that might be helpful as well love that that is a feature also if when you when you share that screenshot if you put hashtag whatever the name of the conference is for example Grand connection yeah right but make sure you stick with the the labels that you know you don't want you want to be consistent, but so hashtag whatever, it will create a label for you in Trello automatically. And now you've got everything labeled as well. Um, so yeah, labels, great, great tip, Deltrees. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I mean, a million ways you could go with this, but I brought in the Trello board because you had specifically asked about the business cards, mm -hmm. you know? And so I was like, okay, that, being able to just really quickly get a screenshot, mm -hmm. collect, you know, collect it and organize with action attached to it, you know, with a template for action that so that your VA can process all of it um, without you really doing anything. I mean, so much of this can be templated with your Gmail templates and everything else. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the jump on a call thing with the calendar, the calendar link is, that's all you, but everything else but no, it's not all you. You just jump on the call. They're doing the calendar link and everything. Else. Right. Great. Just saying. Thank you.